ukulele. Keep going after that. Thank you. Not you. Different one. No, the more important one. No offense. Not in my life, but in general. You have more responsibilities. I don't, I don't know. Um, having kids, I think, just puts you like at a higher level of responsibility. Sorry. On a societal level, um, you know, you see people, you know, giving up their seats for women with children and their unborn children and stuff. You don't really see people Think giving the up their seats for what? Think of the Titanic, you know. Yeah. You're amazing. Right. Jesus. I'm gonna pretend like I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> I avoided rom-coms. Like very, very hardcore. It's rom-com. Rom, rom trash. <laughs> Romantic movies. I was pretty dead set on uh, not being one of those girls when I was younger. I, I didn't really have a chance of fitting in, um, so I kind of like leaned into it. And I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna be normal. Um, but then I'd always, I was on like all these weird deep web websites and I was trying to figure out what all like the neckbeards wanted in a woman so I'd be like their perfect woman. <laughs> it involved getting into My Little Pony a crazy amount. <laughs> but you know what? I went to those anime conventions and I was the apple of their eye. <laughs> They're like, this yes, Pinkie Pie <laughs> Oh, Sloopy dress and everything, but um, true. I'm kind of ashamed of how well I can do a Fluttershy voice. <laughs> See, you guys aren't laughing because you don't know what it is because you're normal human beings. Um, <laughs> um, oh, geez, what else was weird? Um, somebody, we were recently talking about music taste in high school, and we were like, what's your cringy, grungy punk rock phase? Like, what was your, I don't know, weak weakness, your vice back in high school and everything? And people were like, oh, you know, Avenged Sevenfold, My Chemical Romance, you know. Um, yeah, how, much, how many of you guys liked My Chemical Romance? Yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, what's the other, 21 Pilots? In middle, or, uh, Lincoln Park? Um, how many of you were more kind of like, Pop culture, so like Katy Perry. Woo! Yeah. Uh, what, about, what about? I remember being in sixth grade and being like, "Oh my God, you don't know who Akon is?" <laughs> it was a status thing. How many of you listen to Akon? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So um, I was thinking back to my high school, and middle school days, and who I listened to, and I listened to the Beatles before they were cool, but only in terms of my people, like people my age, you know. Like I was into the Beatles and like third grade, you know, everybody else got into them in seventh. Um, <laughs> their parents weren't as cool as mine. But then, you know, seventh grade hit and everybody started wearing I Heart the Beatles shirts after they'd been bullying me for three years for listening to them. And uh, they're like, ew, you listen to old music, why don't you listen to Britney Spears like the rest of us? <laughs> the Black Eyed Peas are amazing. <laughs> um, but then they all started listening to like, they started wearing like Dark Side of the Moon t-shirts and Lubomir, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you never wrote that whisper. <laughs> there was no effort there to be quiet or respectful. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I have a lot of issues with Lubomir, but I'm not going to air them out on stage. It's okay. said I wasn't Yeah, I know. God damn. Um, sorry, Libby, for the swears. It's fine. Um, but I was, I was thinking back to uh, when I was in middle school, and I realized that the majority of things that I listened to were Lonely Island. Yes. Uh, and I don't know if any of you were familiar with Key of Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The YouTube videos, music parodies of songs. So, like, songs would come on the radio, and, like, I would recognize the tune, but I would know all the wrong words because I only knew the joke lyrics. Like, I actually only knew the, the, the parodies. I didn't know the real song. Um, and so there's like, I don't know, there's examples, but. Anyway, so, um, Weird Al Yankovic also. Some Weird Al, you guys like Weird Al? Oh, Weird Al. All right, um, so I'm gonna come up with a song on the spot. May or may not be funny, may or, not be, may or, may or may not be good. Um, but isn't that college? <laughs> <laughs> I call this 
finals week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yesterday was the last day of classes. Now that's a relief. But now there's a bunch of stuff that I've got to do that I've been putting off for weeks. I've got like five essays to write by tonight. I better get started because it's already 1 p.m. I just woke up five minutes ago. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think I deserve to sleep in. I've had 9 a.m.s all semester. And if I want to pass those 9 a.m.s, I've got to get an A or better. So I'll just do it tomorrow. <laughs> Quick interlude. Um, my, uh, my great uncle died a few days ago and I had to go to a funeral, which is super sad because he was an amazing person, but also he was 98. Um, but luckily, his funeral was on the last day of classes. <laughs> it's a parting gift for him. I didn't have to go to my last 9 a.m. <laughs> but also, I missed the review session. <laughs> Better sweet moments here. I thought it was I was uh, hanging out with a lot of my relatives that I haven't seen since the last family reunion, and uh, I was like, hey, how you doing? And they were like, I'm bad, right? And I'm like, right, yeah, okay, someone we love just died, right, right? I don't know why I was expecting you to say good. <laughs> Went up to someone else, and I was like, hey, how you doing? They are like, I'm good, how are you? And I'm like, bad, don't you remember why we're here? <laughs> they laughed. <laughs> But anyway, here's, here's a day in the life of uh, finals week, right? 9 a.m. my alarm clock goes off. I snooze it. 9.09 my alarm clock goes off. I snooze it. <laughs> It's 10.03. I don't wake up on odd numbers. <laughs> I wait till 10.30. <laughs> My, bed, my laptop on my bed because I fell asleep watching Parks and Rec. And I take my mostly prescribed Adderall. I look at my laptop. There's so much that needs to be done. But I left off on the last episode of season one. That shit. So now I'm like three episodes of Parks and Rec Deep. It's noon. I realize I should probably put on some clothes and get out of bed pretty soon. Oh no, I forgot to do laundry for the last week. I mean month. I'm wearing sleeping shorts because I forgot to do any underwear. Uh, I wish I was joking. <laughs> One moment. <clears throat> There's a lot more. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I get out of bed and I'm wearing my sleeping shorts and the only pair of jeans that doesn't have stains. that I'm pretty hungry, so I spent an hour making lunch. I keep my computer open next to me on the counter while I'm cooking because never during this day can I forget that there is work that needs to be done. Kind of rhymed. All right, now it's 1.30. The Adderall's kicking in and my heart is beating right out of my chest. I'm gonna really energetically vacuum my floor! <laughs> Production Nation is real! It's Production.
productiveness combined with procrastination. I invented it. You can use it. You're welcome. <laughs> I may not have invented it, but I was the first one to use it that I know of. <laughs> Woo! Linguistics Woo! majors. This keeps on falling. One moment. <laughs> All right. If I make a list of all the things that need to be done, I'll feel better. I should probably read the syllabus. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what's due. This is me five minutes later. Oh shit, oh shit, there's so much that needs to be done! Why did I wait this long? <laughs> so I cry. <clears throat> it's just part of finals week. I'm sorry that I missed the, the primal scream that went in the library. You guys go to that? Yep. It's where you go like ah! around 300 people. <laughs> Right, okay, so now it's 2.30. Um, I'm fed. I went to the bathroom. That took about a half hour. I looked it right on my phone. Oh, sorry. Let me look back at that list. Okay. It was shorter this time. Less panic. I think the thing to do is to choose one thing to do before the day is done. And I organized things by how much fun they are. 